what happens when you first meet a great guy after you've been in a toxic relationship. The first thing is that you stop trusting men. And so it's not that you hate men, but you end up finding it really difficult to trust people because you just came out of a situation where you're hurt and where you were manipulated or you're in a toxic situ situation. And so you, you find it really difficult to even trust yourself because of how you ended up falling into this toxic relationship that you were in. And you may even doubt that a good, honest man even still exists. And by the way, if you're here right now, make sure that you say hi in the chat and let us know where in the world you're coming from, you're watching this from. It's always cool to see women from all over the world watching these live streams. So number two is you overthink situations rather than listening to your new partner. So your mind ends up racing and you read too much into very simple and normal encounters and you start doubting everything that, that he says, you, you assume things that aren't true, you read into innocent comments that he says, and really what this is is, is kind of like a PTSD-like symptoms that you get from your last relationship and you're just bringing kind of this overthinking thing into the situation instead of actually listening and being present and connecting with your partner and being there with them because you you have this, you, your mind's trying to protect you. And so you end up overthinking things and it just ends up sabotaging your own happiness and your own ability to really be present and connect with the new guy you're with. Number three is you think, this new guy and the entire relationship is just too good to be true. So you feel like there's always something wrong. Maybe he's hiding something. You kind of sense it and you start looking for it, but there's not actually anything there. And if there is something there, it's not as big as you think it is. And you might end up making it into something really big, even if it's not because you're looking for it and you want to find it. And when you do find it, you're like, aha, you know? And so you might end up even creating something that isn't there just to fulfill your suspicions. And so this can end up turning you into kind of the toxic person in the relationship because you're looking to protect yourself. This is all things that you're doing just to protect yourself. And so number four is you start pushing him and other people away. So often women coming out of toxic relationships end up feeling like they don't deserve to be happy, like you don't deserve a great man or a great relationship. So you end up finding excuses for why this relationship that you're in right now won't actually work. And so you end up focusing on, on his flaws or you end up focusing on your flaws and you start pushing him away or you uh, abruptly and immediately end the relationship. And you know that a lot of times what ends up happening is you'll end the relationship and then try to go back because you're like, you know, I don't know what I was thinking and you, you start, you know, trying to rationalize it to him. And it's just a, it's a mess and you're going to keep doing it until you do something about this. So number five is you expect arguments, fighting and drama, even and especially when there aren't any, there's nothing to, there's no drama to be had and there aren't any arguments to be had. You expect that your new partner will behave like your ex did. And so you're waiting for the manipulation and the guilt trips and the insults and all the, all the things, whatever it was that your ex did, you're waiting for those things to happen and you're ready with your own comebacks to, to fight back and to survive like you had to in your last relationship. So number six, and this is the final one, is you over-apologize and carry on like you're a burden. And so you feel like you're undeserving of him and his kindness. You apologize too often and you feel like you're always just messing things up and screwing things up and doing stupid things. And so you think that he'll eventually leave you. So you may even end up deciding that you're going to leave because you believe that he deserves better. And, and so a lot of times women will say things like, you deserve better. And, and if, you're, if you notice, there are guys that'll like these are 
very, very similar things to what a lot of guys will do if they end up leaving a toxic relationship and getting into a good relationship. And so these are the kinds of things that you'll end up hearing from him as well, or that you might end up saying. 